when the audience arrive in the theatre, there is already an event happening. There's already a sensation in the room that the air feels different because there's rain there. This is a portal to another time, another world, an author's fictional historical world. It's to the audience the world that they need to enter into. And it's this natural phenomenon of rain going around in a circle. It's gravity and water and H2O. Water is just, it's relentless. If you have any small cracks or gaps or leaks, it will find them immediately and you will, you'll have some problems. You need to be so careful that everything is in place. We coordinate with all of the technical departments and all of the designers um, to just get, make sure that the end product happens. A lot of what I was doing for this was solving problems, in particular looking after the rain systems and helping with all of the logistics of how we created the environment around it. We had some quite specific challenges on this, um, particularly the fact that our rain system was built into a ceiling piece, so it was much harder to mask, it wasn't high up in a grid, which is ideal. We had bespoke rain bars made for us where instead of 500 mils apart, they were only 150 mils apart, so they were very tight together, um, which meant that you've got this lovely uh, clean wall that we have. The whole system, when it's running, uses 240 litres a minute. Even if we weren't in the middle of a hosepipe ban, um, that would be horribly unenvironmental if we were just pouring that water through and pouring it away. It runs in a cycle, and it's about 4,500 litres that we have in a tank that's just off stage right. I think the water circulation is a really big win for sustainability because it, it just wouldn't have been ethical to consider it in any other way. So for something like this, it's thinking about where we get that water from and thinking about what we can do with it afterwards. One of the things we're exploring is whether there's a way of it being reused to water plants afterwards, but we have to make sure that that's safe with what we're putting back out into the world. With any big effect, you know, we plan and we get experts in, but it's still always a massive relief in that moment when it actually works and it actually looks good. I was actually in that day and hardly anybody was and I was just sending videos to all of the creative team and all of the other people working on it going, look, look what we did. It was worth it. All of this effort has really paid off and, and I still think that every time I see it in the show it just slightly takes my breath away. I think the play, whatever you remember or think about it, when you actually invoke it, bring it to life and give it voice, it has a momentum that is unstoppable. And it's exquisitely crafted that way, to go from your gut to your mind. You, know, you understand what they're on about because you feel it right at the core of you. This rain, this sort of cube of rain, is a, a sort of mediator to help you reach from who you are when you came in to who you are when the actors start speaking, and hopefully all the way through to who you might have somewhat become by the time the piece finishes.